here's a model of the skin I made. So I can show you how the skin reacts to different needles. Okay, so the first needle is a single, this would be a round liner, a one round liner. Now look how it doesn't take much force at all for this needle to go in. Okay. Now look at how much force it would take if you were going to use a mag. You know, this is just an upscaled version. So you can see that with more surface area, it takes a lot more pressure for the needle to enter the skin. So if you're having color issues, you know that when you're doing color, the needles need to go into the skin to deposit that pigment. And if you're using a larger mag and they're not going into the skin, then nothing's going in there. So, Here's an actual 7 mag. And this is how much pressure I have to put on it to get those needles in as far as you want. But once the needles are in, they're good. And then they come out, and they're going to deposit that ink where you want it. Now this is if your skin's stretched really tight. I could even stretch it tighter and the needles would go in easier. So if you're not doing a proper stretch, even if you have a single needle, it's going to take a lot more for that needle to go in. You know, no stretch, this is the effect you're getting. The needles aren't going to go in because the skin is just moving. You're pretty much just going to bounce on the skin with your needle. Sometimes the needle might go in and sometimes it might not. So this is also why it's really important to stretch your skin so that the needle will actually make entry into the skin. Okay, now this part of the video is about angle of your needle. Okay, if you are trying to do a line and you have a shader because you want to get a really thick line, what's going to happen is if you're at too much of an angle, this needle this set of needles, you know, this part of the needle up here, isn't even touching the skin. So the bottom set of needles will make entry into the skin, and then the top set of needles will just graze the skin there. So what you're going to get is on this side, you're going to get a really dark line, but then on this side of that line, you're going to get like a shadow are shaded because these needles aren't making entry they're, or they're not going as deep as these other needles are. So you're going to get half of a dark line and half of a light line. So just something I do, something I, I notice when I line with a shader is that I don't give it as much of an angle. 
you know, again, I stay between a 90 and a 45, and I never drop below that. But if you stay in this range with the shader, if you're at more of an angle, those needles, all of the needles, not just some of the needles, all of them are going to make entry into the skin, giving you a nice dark line. You know, this isn't a total 90, but, you know, kind of somewhere in between if you're not getting, if you're getting kind of half a line and half a light line and half a dark line. Okay, so the same thing goes for your mags. You know, if all of the needles are touching, they're all going into the skin. But if you flip it up on its side, you can only get a couple of needles in the skin. And that's why you can do a big fat line or shading in that area. Or you can turn it on its side and just go in and fill in the little details. Now, this would be like a flat mag or a regular mag. All the needles are straight across. Now let me show you what it would look like if this was a round mag, which I'm going to have to knock off these needles right here. So instead of it being flat, it's going to be more rounded. Okay, so this is what a close-up of a round mag would look like. Now you can see on its side, the round mag, again, you know, those, this side over here is making entry into the skin. But if you put it this direction, mostly the, the middle needles, the middle grouping of needles is going to be making entry into the skin and the sides aren't going to be as much. So when you're tattooing, you need to think about what needle you're using and what position it's in while you're using it to get what effect you want. 